My name is Bryce Janis. And uh, hi, my name is Jack Pullman. From, we're both from uh, Seattle, Washington and the Washington Aerospace Club. Yeah, we're here today at LDRS in California looking to fly the 12 inch diameter Moonliner. We each have a couple four inch diameter small versions here and this is all part of the Washington Aerospace Club group project which is a 30 inch diameter over 400 pound version that uh, is going to be flying uh, over Labor Day weekend out in the sod farms of central Washington at the Tri-Cities Rocketeers. Pasco. In Pasco. It's going to be awesome. That's going to fly on an experimental red P motor, uh, Sparky P that we're uh, designing right now. But uh, today we're here to fly this guy, 12 inch diameter, just under 50 pounds. Uh, flying today on an Aerotech M1600 Redline, looking for just shy of 3,000 feet or so. And is a kind of a proof of concept, a stability demonstrator. Once we knew we were building the giant one, we really knew that we wanted to build some smaller scale ones to prove the stability of this thing. So we've got clear fins uh, in the leg shroud region on all three models. And uh, we're really excited to get this off the ground and flying safely. Yeah, it's been a fun project. Uh, I don't know if we said it, it's all 3D printed. Yep. Um, all except for the, uh, the base body tube here including the leg structures and then the clear fins are clear acrylic. Uh, there's some reinforcement inside the legs of carbon fiber tubes uh, that uh, certainly helps with the strength and, and on the smaller model and, and this one, get carbon fiber uh, kind of struts, if you will, yep. holding the legs in place. Sweet, should be awesome. Can we back up for a second? What is a Moonliner? <laughs> oh, a Moonliner uh, was a concept between Walt Disney and Werner von Braun uh, before we went to the moon. Uh, Walt Disney went to Werner and said, hey, theoretically, if, if we're going to take passengers to the moon, what might the rocket potentially look like? So uh, the, the concept was drawn, I understand, on like a back of a napkin or something. Uh, was fully fledged out. It would have been 800 feet tall, I think is the, uh, the what the Wikipedia page says. Uh, the first one that was built was about 80 feet tall, was at Disneyland, and uh, then there's been a couple of versions since. The, the uh, 30 inch one that we're building is uh, based on a uh, full scale that was in Kansas, um, Kansas City, Missouri, uh, on top of the TWA building. And it was uh, 22 feet tall and 30 inches in diameter. Yep. And people will know the rocket if you've ever been to Disneyland in Anaheim, California, uh, because this is uh, in front of Tomorrowland. It's currently the Pizza Planet themed rocket. And one last question, how big is the 3D printer? <laughs> uh, the 3D printer is a uh, Orange Storm Giga, if you've heard of that. It's uh, 800 millimeters by 800 millimeters by a meter tall in uh, print volume. Yep. So one meter tall, so we can print 12 inch nose cones and 12 inch tail cones in their entirety in one single print without having to put a bunch of little pieces together. And, and nice tall legs. Yes, indeed. All right, well, good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, was a Disney ride when Disneyland opened. This one is uh, 12 inch diameter. Bryce and Jack are from Seattle, Washington. It's going to fly on an M1600. Has uh, electronics for main only. Uh, has a Exciter Proton and a Quasar on board. Board. This is a heads up flight. I'm going to call a heads up flight on it. And motor on the amusement park ride. This is what the future. This is what the future used to look like. All right, Bryce and Jack's Moonliner going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.